know which way do I go? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys, Jason, KM4ACK. One of the activities that I enjoy in our hobby is fox hunting or radio direction finding. Radio direction finding can be useful in many instances in our hobby. For instance, let's say you've got some sort of RFI interference coming into your shack. Well, you can use some radio direction finding to pinpoint the source of that noise. If you're unfortunate enough to have a bad actor in your area that's creating havoc on the repeater, well, you could also use radio direction finding to locate him. But primarily where I use RDF is in the game called fox hunting, which is one of my favorite activities in our hobby. However, when you get very close to the transmitter, it can be almost impossible, as you saw in this opening clip, to tell which direction that fox is from your current location. Now sure, things like a directional antenna are definitely going to give you an advantage. However, again, once you get too close, those things don't even cut it. Now, we can use a, a couple of different methods to possibly attenuate that signal down to give us a little better indication as to which direction we should go next. The first one that you can try, which requires no additional equipment, is using either the second or the third harmonic of the particular signal that you are chasing down. Another way that you might do it is to use just a traditional attenuator. And I've got one of those and it'll go up to about 30 dB. But I found something that's even better than that standard old attenuator. And that is an offset attenuator. Let me show you guys exactly how this thing works and why you might want to consider one for your arsenal. And by the way, these things aren't even that expensive. This one by KC9ON ran me 35 bucks. Now this is the old version, and I'll also show you the new version here in just a second. But let's check out exactly how this thing works. All right, so hopefully you guys will be able to see this without too much glare on the screen. The Fox for today is on 146.565. In order to use that offset attenuator, we either need to go up or down by four megahertz. So that'll give us 142.565, or 150-565. Today, we'll just go ahead and drop down to 142-565. I'm not going to back up as far away from the truck as I was a minute ago, just so you can see exactly how close we can be and still get some directionality using the Yagi antenna, well, in this case, a log periodic, and the offset attenuator, because one of these devices can really help you narrow down your search area. All right, so I'm only about uh, 20, 25 feet maybe from my truck right now, about the uh, distance of two parking spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dialing in some of the uh, attenuation using the dial and see, oh, there we go. I just dropped that signal out. Now I'm kind of pointed this way. The fox is sitting directly behind the camera. So as I come around, I should be able to hear it again. Let's wait for it to start transmitting. I'm going to back off of the attenuator just a touch to make sure we've got a, uh, we're open enough to be able to hear the signal when it starts back. All right, so we're hearing the signal again. And let's see, can I turn that volume up just a little bit? Now I can literally attenuate the signal right here when I've got the Yagi pointed directly at the uh, fox. Now, I want to go ahead and move closer to this. I'm going to set you guys off to the side so you can see this a little bit differently and how close we can get and still attenuate this signal. All right, so now I'm about six feet away from the fox. I've got the Yagi pointed directly at it sitting right there on my tailgate. We're just going to spin this in and there we go. I can drop that in and out being literally this close to the signal. So that's how much attenuation you can get with an offset attenuator and why I so highly recommend them. So now pointed directly at you as I start to make a sweep. Whoop, it's coming in right there. And it's cut out right over here. So you can see that I've drastically narrowed down my search uh, direction that I want to travel next. And nothing behind me is coming in like it was earlier in the opening clip of this video. Now the offset attenuator you've seen me using up to this point in the video is this one here. 
Uh, this is the version 6, I believe, by KC9ON. I've had this one for several years and really, really enjoy using this one. However, this one has been discontinued and it has been replaced by this one. This is the new guy that he's building. This is version 7. It's the exact same setup. It's just in a different case. So you've still got that uh, knob right here where we can rotate from uh, max to min. And on the back, you can either get it with BNC connectors or SMAs. And I believe you can also get this guy as a kit. I didn't want to build a kit, so I just paid a few extra bucks and got the kit shipped directly to me already assembled. Another little nice addition inside of his kit is this little 3D printed bracket. This just simply snaps on to the offset attenuator. It's got little divots in this case right there. Hopefully you can see those. And this can be locked in in two or three places. Then you can use this loop to run it through the mount of an antenna like this elk antenna. So my handle will slide right through here, perfectly allowing this to hold onto. Uh, the mount for the antenna and then you'll need to use a set screw right there just to keep that thing from falling over because it is uh, it can rotate completely around the way it is right out of the box so that's the purpose of having a set screw right here all right before we wrap this up we'll go ahead and take a look inside my fox hunt bag because i know somebody is going to ask so i keep pretty much everything i need excluding the uh, elk log periodic antenna over here, we've got the Fox itself. This is the Bionics Micro Fox MF-15. I think this one is actually out of stock, or I'm sorry, discontinued at this point, but they've got others that you can get instead. I do keep a couple of different, uh, ante well, a couple of antennas over here for the Fox. They're the same ones, but uh, I do keep two of them. I also keep the programming cable in here for the Fox. Uh, we can plug this up and use a web browser to actually change the way the fox operates on the right hand side i've just got a little wooden piece that i built uh, so i normally run it like this the ht will clip in right here and then the fox uh, i'm sorry the offset attenuator will just uh, grab a hold of it right there and then i can run everything right here handle for the antenna mounts right here we just use a u-bolt that drops in here, and then we slide the handle through, tighten everything down, and that gives me everything in uh, that I can hold with one hand without having to juggle too much stuff. I've just got a few notes in here for the Fox. I've got the printed manual for one of the offset attenuators in here, and then there is another attenuator and the bracket, the mounting bracket for that one. I also keep a couple of SMA mail and SMA female adapters that will adapt any other HT to BNC because the entire kit is based on BNC. And then there's just two short pieces of coax. This one goes from the offset attenuator to the end of the antenna, and this one goes from the offset attenuator to the HT. So now you should know a little bit more about offset attenuators and why you might want one. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.